That's gonna be four Super Bowl losses. I heard those are bad what? to have. Let's go. Let's go. Jenna, that's how you want to start the week, Jenna. Are you kidding me? I'm setting your buddy up right. Just setting him up. Here we go, Chiefs and Bills. And as good as Buffalo had been coming into this game, well, Nick, you were right. Chiefs can just turn it on when they need to. And last night, it was on. You'd never know Mahomes was coming off a concussion. You'd never know Mahomes had an issue with his toe. He was moving around as well as we've seen him. And when that team is playing that way, there is no competition. So let us kick off the conversation with you, Nick. Are you surprised the Chiefs handled the Bills team so easily last night? No, I'm not surprised. But I know America <laughs> is. Because all year long, I tried to tell y'all, let me take you guys on a delightful journey over the last four months. Oh, good. It started with alleged hangovers. Hey, Remember that? Great. Remember first game of the year, we started with me having an ice pack on my neck and sunglasses on. That's right. Because the Chiefs That's were right. going to be hung That's over. Right. And then it turned into, <laughs> oh, don't look now. Those scary Steelers are undefeated. What are you going to do? They're 8-0, 9-0, 10-0, 11-0. You're going to have to go to Heinz Field. And That's then once right. the, that team was dispatched of, we started creating things that have never existed in nature before. Things like dropped interceptions and wins that were too close to actually count because we needed to find a way to add some doubt to the season. And then the ultimate disrespect. And I warned you, America, don't do this. The ultimate disrespect, it was one thing when Patrick Mahomes was told Aaron Rodgers is better than him. It was something entirely different when old roller coaster Josh Allen, he's the MVP, he's the all pro quarterback, he's the best young quarterback in the AFC. <laughs> and so, You've it all been came to this head. moment. Yeah, I've been waiting for it, Brandon. You know who she else was waiting for it? She Patrick asked Mahomes you about last night's Kelsey game, and you went to the last 20-something yeah, weeks. The last, exactly <laughs> right, Brandon. Because it all, you know what it culminated in? 38-6. to six. That's the run the Chiefs went on. Like a great <laughs> AAU basketball team. Got out a little sleepy. Oh, wait, we're down 9 nothing. Boom, game over. So no, I wasn't surprised. It's what I expected to have happen. And by the way, Brandon, not to get ahead of ourselves, it's what very well may happen in a couple weeks in the Super Bowl. But about last night, no, not surprised in the least. I'm well, so thank you for finally answering the question. <laughs> you just went yeah. through twenty-something weeks. You wanted to get that off yeah. of your chest, but yeah, you yeah, you I guys you guys stood strong, and you guys did a great job. But I'm gonna answer Jenna's question. I am super surprised. I'm surprised because they came in with the same game plan. Leslie Frazier, same game plan in the first corner, quarter. And Patrick Mahomes made it look like seven on seven. Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid and Eric B made it look like it was routes on air, like there was nobody out there with pads. So yes, I'm surprised. They went from dropping everybody in coverage and trying to force them to run the ball to blitzing, which they only blitzed one time in the last game. So if you watch this, they were flustered on the defensive side. They tried to play zone and they were just picking, picking them apart. Offensively, Definitely surprised. There's two teams coming into the playoffs that moved the ball the best in the National Football League. And that was Patrick Mahomes in Kansas, Kansas City and Josh Allen in the Buffalo Bills. So for the Buffalo Bills to go out there and look like they were lost in the sauce, uh, I was 100% uh, 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 surprised, Kevin. I mean, this is a team that I stood on the table for. And, and what got me in trouble yeah. as a player now is getting me in trouble as an analyst. I'm always <laughs> going for the underdog. I truly I truly believe that they had a chance, Kevin, and they didn't. They didn't. I know. Big difference know. between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Buffalo Bills. I was a little mad at you, Brandon, because it's just fun to sort of make fun of Nick. And I'm like, well, Brandon's making good points about the Bills. And afterwards, I'm like, nah, watching the game is like, <laughs> they have too many weapons, and their weapons are in another <laughs> class, Brandon. It's like if there was a water yeah. gun fight. And the Bills have like cool super soakers, and Mahomes can harness the power of the sea. Just like, ah, shh, shh, <laughs> tidal waves, the big plane that like fights that. forest fires. Yeah. Tyreek Hill had yeah. nine catches for 172 yards. Travis Kelsey had 13 yeah, catches, 118, and two touchdowns. And that's after last week when they combined for 220. So 
I know. And Diggs, Diggs had a fine game. That like the Bills offense no, looked didn't. okay, but they were nowhere near the superpower. And Nick, here's where it gets scarier. Le'Veon Bell did not play, and Clyde edwards alaire barely played. You give those guys two more weeks That's to right. heal up, and if they're even close to 100%, the superpowers that Mahomes have even become more super powerful. Well, and my X Factor from Friday. I got duped by the injury report. Sammy Watkins, wow. game day scratch, oh, right. thought he was going to play. He doesn't play, and he's been excellent for the playoffs in the playoffs for the Chiefs, which is seemingly the only times he's been healthy, and this year he hasn't been healthy yet for the playoffs. Folks, here's the situation we have. We've got a guy in Travis Kelsey who I believe, Brandon, when it's all said and done, is going to have every tight end record. I think when it's all said and done, wow. Travis Kelsey is going to be considered the greatest tight end, most prolific receiving tight end ever. You have Tyree Kill, yeah. who is the fastest skilled player in the history of the league. And Patrick Mahomes, who now, before his 26th birthday, has been to more Super Bowls than Aaron Rodgers, than Dan Marino, than Drew Brees, than mm. Steve Young, ever made it to. Patrick Mahomes, who has now made it to the Super Bowl twice, Brandon, before he's lost a single two-score game. He's never been blown out, never been beaten by more than eight points, never played a road playoff game because they always have home field so advantage. So what you're saying? That is what so you're what up you're against. Saying? Oh, that he's going to be the greatest, <laughs> that, he's gonna, that he's playing the current GOAT, he's gonna and he will, <laughs> will in about a decade dethrone him? Right. Yeah, they, I'll get to that later in the All world. Right. <laughs> Super Bowl, his great